Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how 1PD and the dashboard fundamentally works. Well, here when you log in, the first thing you'll see is a decision tree where when you log in uh, and you're looking at your fundamental bottom line, am I making money or am I not? So in this case, uh, in this reporting period that we're looking at, uh, we have made this much in gross profit, which is a 4% decrease versus the previous period. However, if you click below, you can actually see the trend of how it moves. So even though overall it was a 4% decrease versus the previous period, it's actually trending up. So that's good news. But knowing gross profit is not enough. You need to actually know what contributes to gross profit. And this is where decision tree matters a lot because then you can see all the contributing factors. You can look at your marketing spend, your ROI, the number of orders that you had, the customer's and the total amount of customers that you had and the revenue that was driven from said customers. These are great and very helpful tools to help you make decisions and narrow down exactly what's happening. Because even though in this case it's a 4% decrease, you can see actually, well, uh, I saved a lot of money by spending less in marketing advertising costs, which led to an increase in efficiency. However, this led to an overall decrease in revenue from uh, from the business. So, you know, in the case that if I was the business owner and I said, okay, this 4% is not acceptable, uh, I perhaps would have invested more in advertising to drive that total revenue up. Coming on to the main dashboard, uh, looking through this, on the top here is your top line numbers that we feel are very, very useful for you. Uh, so you have paid ratio, your number of customers, your active customer lifetime value, uh, your ROI on ad spend, your payback cycle, and your customer acquisition cost. Uh, these are all very useful numbers for you to know at a glance how well your business is doing and how what the top line, I guess, movements are from these key metrics point of view. Going below is the revenue analysis, which is now looking at the top line revenue movement by day. Uh, this is the, the uh, time series movement. Uh, and you can click on each of these essentially to navigate and find through, uh, find out through uh, our tutorials on each of these sections, what they mean for your business and how to get the best out of your data. So hopefully that's been helpful. It's a very quick and short tutorial. Goodbye.